Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and in this video, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of the mini quest called A Brother's Roast, and then I'll show you how to complete the Kyra Ma Shrine with all the chests, and we're getting started right now. So this particular shrine cannot be accessed by just going straight to the location like a lot of the other shrines. You have to complete the mini quest called A Brother's Roast, and it can be started by heading over to Goron City, and talking to a guy that looks to be a little ticked off. Once you talk to him, you'll find out that his brother has been gone for quite some time, and it's up to you to go find him and also subscribe. Now some of the things that you may need as you try to complete the next part are some arrows and a couple good melee weapons. There are some enemies coming up soon that you'll need to fight your way through. Personally, I use 30 ice arrows to get through it all, but depending on where you're at in the game, you may not have any issues. So after talking to the guy and exiting the house, look up and you'll see a bridge hanging across the city. You'll need to find a way up there so that you can get started on the path that takes you to the next part. Now I think there's a path that will actually take you up, but I simply just climb straight up the mountain. Once you're there, you'll make your way through the steaming water area. You'll notice that a path starts to form and you'll be making your way down the mountain. You'll have a couple enemies to withstand, but nevertheless keep following the path. Eventually, you'll see a cave entrance on your left and a steep hill on your right. Take a left and head into the cave. However, in a second, we'll be making our way down the path that's on the right. You'll have a brief conversation with the dudes, and he'll say that he needs a rock roast. The rock roasts are at the bottom of the path to the right that I was just referring to. So, find a way to glide down this path to the dead end to the rock roasts. Avoid any enemies at this time. Once you get a rock roast in hand, you'll need to make your way back up to the top, avoiding or killing all enemies in your way. Now I had to attempt this a couple of times because I kept dying, so I started doing a little research. What I found is that you'll probably have to kill a few enemies yourself, but if you get the enemies engaged with your character, they start coming after you. And as you make your way up, the rocks will fall from the cliffs and they will likely hit them, killing them instantly. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you did to get through this part. How many times did you die and did the rocks kill the enemies for you?
So make your way to the top with the rock roast and give it to the guys hanging out in the cave. Once you give it to them, there'll be a brief cutscene and eventually the dude will bust through the rocks. This makes the shrine available and you can proceed right in. Guys, if this guide is helping you out, then please give it a thumbs up. So when you first get down into the shrine, the only thing that you'll see is a small room with a door in front of you. And when you look through the door, you'll see a really long ramp. If you look close enough, you'll see what looks to be gigantic spheres behind small gates. And as you make your way up, you'll notice that the spheres will start rolling toward you at a rapid pace. Occasionally there will be smaller metal spheres with spikes, so be sure to keep an eye out for those. And sometimes jewels will slide down the ramp, so you can grab those if you get a chance. Now to beat this shrine, and to get all the chests, you'll want to hang over toward the right side of the ramp. And about halfway up and to the right, you'll find your first chest. You'll need to dash over to avoid the next set of spheres. After that, hang around the middle right and make your way all the way to the top. Now after you get to the top, turn around and look to your right. You'll see another chest sitting on a ledge that's hanging on the wall. You should be able to glide right over there. And once you're done there, you can turn around and make your way back up the ramp, completing this shrine. There are four other shrines in this area that you can complete, so click the video on the screen to learn more about them.